we shall be looking at the topic fractions. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to know 1. What a fraction is 2. How to reduce fractions to the lowest term and know and find what an equivalent fraction is. So, what is a fraction? Do you know in our everyday life, we deal with fraction, which we might not really occur to us? Are you surprised? Let me bring to your notice. Can you recollect when you have to share an egg with your friend or sister or maybe your brother? What of when you cut an orange into two for you to eat? Or probably you give one half to your sister and you hurt the other half. Oh, you smiled. You remember that now? That is what I mean by fraction. Can I give you a definition? A fraction is a part of a whole. That is when you divide a whole into equal parts. Then each part is called a fraction. For example, you have an orange and I ask you to cut it into two equal parts between you and myself. If you take one and you give me one, then you have one half, that is one over two. And I also have one half, which is also one over two. Look at the diagram. Here, I have two parts of, an, of the orange. So you have either of the part to be a fraction. That is one over two, which can also be called one half. Let me show you another example. I have a circle which I divided into four parts and shaded one of the parts. The shaded part is a fraction of the whole circle. So here, I can write this as 1 over 4, that is 1 fourth, which means I shaded one part of the whole four equal parts I divided into. So I have 1 over 4, which is 1 fourth. Now that you know what a fraction is, did you notice anything? Can you see? 1 over 2 and 1 over 4 comprises of two numbers. An upper number and a lower number. But mathematically, upper number is called the numerator. Lunar number is called the denominator. That is, 1, which is numerator, divided by the 2, which is the denominator. Also, if you check 1 over 4, the 1 is the numerator and the 4 is the denominator. Also, note this. In any fraction, the number are always all numbers. And the denominator must not and cannot be 0. I hope you understand all I have said and shown you. If not, stop the video here. And start all over again. If you do, then let's continue. Now we look at identifying and naming fraction. Example. Identify and name the following shapes in fractions. Can you see the picture? I have a rectangle divided into three parts. And one part is shaded blue. Can you tell me what the fraction is? Okay. How many parts is shaded? One. So we have it to be one over three, which is one third. Example two. Can you identify this? I have three parts shaded and the circle divided into four equal parts. So I have it to be three over four, which is three 
fourth. Example three. I have one part shaded here, and the circle is divided into eight equal parts. So I have this to be one over eight, which is also one eighth. Now that you can identify and name fraction, let's move to reducing fractions into smallest terms. Example, reduce the following to the smallest term. Example 1, 2 over 4. How do we reduce 2 over 4 to the smallest term? Here, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. Now you know that my numerator is 2, which is the upper number, and which is divided by 4, which is the denominator. So if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, what do we have? We have 1 over 2. Example 2. 6 over 9. We divide true by 3. So 6 divided by 3. We give me 2. And 9 divided by 3. We give me 3. So we have our smallest term to be 2 over 3.